join the MOOCR forum in a description to participate or converse. Okay, I'm doing virtual rotation in this cross core, okay, through these four coils. Okay, I have an output coil, this is this one, this is 175 turns, and I'm incorporating a drag coil, which is this one, 90 degrees out of phase, with 75 turns, just for to get some information on it. Now, I have the scope hooked up on both the drag coil and the output coil. So I'm going to unload it, okay, so it's open circuit. Okay, open circuit. Here's my drag coil and my um, and my output coil. Okay, as you see, the top of one wave aligns to the zero mark of the other one. It's proving we have virtual rotation because these are 90 degrees out of phase and are picking up a 90 degree out of phase uh, signal. Okay, now. In a regular generator, there's always um, lens drag, which is very important. People try to eliminate, including me, I have tried to eliminate lens drag, but that's crucial. You need lens drag in order to make good output because it's proportional. The output power is proportional to the amount of drag and the amount of drag is proportional to the amount of um, output power. So if you're doing virtual rotation, you have to incorporate drag into your design. Now I wanna show you something very interesting. I'm going to load the output coil with an 8 ohm resistor, okay? On this side, I have a variable resistor, which is just a piece of nichrome wire, okay? So I'm just going to connect it on end to end for now, roughly, right? Now look, we lost our 90 degree Um, phase that blue one is over to the right uh, pretty much a lot more let's see closer to 45 degrees you see so it lines up about halfway about 45 degrees okay now I'm going to vary on this nichrome wire I'm going to move this connection closer to put less resistance on that drag coil okay now watch the phase as they do it. Hold up. You see what's happening here? Let me move it up so you could see what just happened. Look. Now we're in phase, I mean 90 degrees out of phase, with that much resistance. Okay, now I'm gonna change the resistance of the drag coil. Now look, you see how it's changing the phase, the drag. Just how much drag it's facing, the phases alignments start changing. Now, if this is going to act like a generator, the drag has to be proportional to the output power, and the phase alignment between the drag and the output power are going to have to be precise. So, join the forum and we're going to see what we could come up with and try to nail this down so we could continue.